Right here with the parents to be, Tisha Torres and Raquel Pennington. Obviously, amazing news for you two. Uh, just tell us what kind of life is like right now after you know announcing the pregnancy. It's pretty surreal. I mean, in June we're going to be mommies. Something that we wanted to have, we've wanted to do for a long time now. I think just the time's right. Yeah. It's super exciting. I mean, you want to talk, you know, parents talk all the time and they're like, oh, you have no clue what that love feels like or the motivation stuff that comes behind it. And just the idea that we have a little one on the way and I have a fight coming up, a big fight coming up. Like, it's just super motivating. It's encouraging. It's exciting. And so um, we actually find out the gender this Sunday and like, it's just, it's a one of a kind feeling. How much is that like a motivator for you, especially going forward? Because I imagine you're going to be out for a little while, Tisha, uh, but going into this fight just to like, you know, have that extra boost. It's extremely motivating. You know, I've always been the type of person to encourage the younger gen generations growing up and stuff. And um, now to have like my own on the way and it's just like, you know, building my own legacy and being able to look back and stuff like every single second counts. And so um, I'm super motivated this camp and I'm just excited. And, you know, I mean, I get to go to the gym, I get to do what I love and then I get to come home and we have our own memories that we're making there. So. I know, Tisha, it wasn't that long ago when you were doing like the bodybuilding thing and you know, now it's like probably a lot of changes, you know, physically and stuff. Is that something, uh, like, have you known this was the plan for a while and is that something you wanted to do before this happened or was it completely unrelated? Uh, I just felt the time was right for that as well. It was something on my bucket list that I wanted to do. Uh, so last November I was shredded. I was still shredded this November, but now uh, it's getting a little less shredded. My abs are like down to one. <laughs> and we've seen you know, a, a lot of women you know, take time off for the fighting and stuff. Like After you do have the child, how long do you think you're going to take before you want to get back or are you going to come back? Uh, my goal is 2024, so a good six months I want to train. So I guess maybe like two months after I have the baby start training and then within four to six months I'd like to have a fight. Awesome. And just last thing for you, uh, are you down with that plan? I love it. I love it. I love the motivation. Uh, you know, not just because of our relationship, but I mean, I've known Tisha for years and she's honestly one of my favorite fighters. So it's just exciting to see her go through the journey outside of the octagon in real life and then to come back and then to finish out a solid career. like. It's, it's just, I mean, like I said, exciting, so. And uh, just lastly for you, uh, you win this fight coming up. I mean, where do you feel you're at? Do you know, there's, we know the kind of state of the division. Do you feel like you're pretty close to a title shot again? Absolutely, absolutely. Four fight win streak. I mean, add another one to the list. You can't deny me anymore, you know what I mean? So. Congratulations to you both and appreciate the time. Thank you.